हेलो फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी विल स्टडी अ सिंपल एक्सपेरिमेंट ऑफ क्यूपीएसके मॉडल सो व्हाट इज क्यूपीएसके क्यूपीएसके इज नथिंग बट क्वाड्रेचर फेज शिफ्ट किंग सो एज द नेम सजेस्ट क्वाड्रेचर द कैरियर वेव इज मॉड्यूलेटेड इनटू थ्री फोर डिफरेंट फेजेस एंड सेंट ओवर फॉर ट्रांसमिशन क्यूपीएसके इज नथिंग बट एडिशन ऑफ टू बीपीएसके सो लेट अस हैव अ लुक एट block diagram of qps so basically this is the block diagram of qpsk modem uh, this is the input binary data which is coming it is divided into two parts uh, called as odd data and even data uh, this then is further multiplied with two different carrier waves one with cosine wave and one with sine wave precisely the even data is multiplied with the cosine wave and the odd data is multiplied with the sine wave this is done in order to generate b two different bpsks uh, which are then added to generate a qpsk so here we have a, a odd and even even data generator uh, further it is multiplied with the even data is multiplied with a cos wave and uh, odd data is multiplied with a sine wave uh, so basically in this um, uh, block diagram you can see there is a block of delay here so uh, it, there are two types of uh, qpsk modem one is the non offset qpsk modem and the, the other one is offset qpsk modem known as oqpsk uh, here a delay is given while generating the odd data which is then further multiplied with a sine wave so uh, in our lab we use o offset qpsk modem these two bpsks for generated are further added to get a qpsk waveform so this is the modem of qpsk here there is a pattern generator there are two patterns given we can choose any of them i am choosing first one uh, from uh, after that here is the odd and even data generator it has one input that is the pattern input and uh, even data and odd data as its output uh, this is then multiplied with sine wave and cosine wave according to the even data and odd data respectively Uh, these two waves are then added with a adder here and we get the final qpsk output at this point so let me make the connection this is the pattern i am choosing the first one uh, th and similarly there is a clock also given here so that is that i would also see on my cro as you can see this is my clock waveform and this is my bit pattern which is generated so um, let me overlap it so as you can see here my bit pattern is 1 0 1 0 1 1 0 0 and then onwards the waveform repeats itself so so as we saw the waveforms on uh, dso i have drawn them on a graph paper this is our clock input signal clock input signal this is our input data pattern which is 10101100 and in all it is 8 bit pattern so this is the zeroth bit this is the first bit second and so on and after 8 bits it repeats itself so moving on uh, this is our odd and even data generator over here so the input bit pattern is given to this input and here we get even and odd data respectively so let us view odd and even data so these are the waveforms this is the clock data signal this is our input bit pattern this is the even data signal and this is the odd data signal so um, the zeroth bit of our input data signal is 1 and hence uh, our even data signal is also 1 so here you can see there is a, off a small offset over there and then uh, the first data of our signal is 0 which is neglected 
as we are having only event data so uh, i had it goes ahead the second bit second bit is one and then the event data stays on one the third is again neglected and the fourth one is one and hence it is it stays at one and the fifth one is again neglected sixth bit of our input data pattern is zero and hence the event data signal also uh, goes to zero and seventh bit is again neglected so hence this is our even data signal which is obtained similarly same is the procedure for obtaining the odd data signals there the uh, first bit is zeroth bit of our input data is ignored the because of you know, we are using offset qpsk model then the first bit over in at our input signal is zero hence the even data signal is zero second bit is second bit is again neglected uh, the third this as you can see the third bit of our input signal is zero hence the odd data is again zero uh, the fourth bit is neglected the fourth bit is again neglected this is the fifth bit which is one hence the odd data signal jumps to one and these all waveforms are in synchronization with our clock as you can see here so here this is the event data i'll draw it the zeroth bit of our input pattern is 1 hence event data is 1 the first bit is again neglected whatever it may be the second um, bit of our input pattern is again 1 hence event data stays at 1 this is third bit is again neglected fourth bit is again 1 so the event data stays at 1 fifth is neglected sixth bit of our input pattern is 0 hence the event data shifts to 0 similarly in odd data uh, offset of first bit is given the first bit is not um, sampled zeroth bit sorry of our input pattern the first bit of our input pattern is zero hence the odd data starts from zero second bit of our input pattern is neglected as it is a even bit third bit of our input data pattern is zero hence the odd data stays at zero now fifth bit of our input data pattern is nothing but 1 hence the odd data shifts to 1 it stays at 1 till the sixth bit the seventh bit of our input data pattern is 0 which is a odd bit and hence the in odd data pattern shifts to zero similarly after eight bits this pattern is again repeated okay so moving on now this odd data and even data generated is multiplied with a sine and cosine wave respectively so here i am making the connections here there is a inbuilt cos and sin wave generator so there is no external need of those two waves so now we will observe the multiplied output which is nothing but the bpsk so here odd data is multiplied with the sin wave this is the first output and even data is multiplied with the cos wave so this is the second output so this is our uh, odd data generated here and this is our even data generated here i have zoomed it a bit to have a better clarity and these two waveforms are nothing but our bpsk is generated uh, they are obtained by multiplying the sine wave with odd data and cosine wave with even data so here you can observe the phase shift which is uh, 180 degree so this is our bpsk 1 here you can observe the phase shift as the transition from 0 to 1 is happening in even data and over here you can observe the phase shift Uh, as the transition is happening between one and zero in our odd data, so to have a bit clarity, I'll just zoom it in. So 
this is the phase shift here and this is the phase shift here so now these two bps phase generated are added in order to get a qps waveform so going ahead we have now connected these two bps phase generated to an adder and whose output is nothing but a qps waveform so we can see so this is the first bpsk waveform generated this is the second bpsk waveform and combining these two this is the this is our final qpsk output so here as you can see there is a phase shift in our first bpsk which is also depicted in our qpsk waveform this is the phase shift of phase shift in second bpsk waveform which is also depicted in our qpsk so here we can say that this qpsk waveform is nothing but the addition of these two bpsks along with the phase dip and this qpsk waveform is used for further transmission now drawing a qpsk waveform on a graph paper is very tricky thing um, actually based on our input data uh, input data we get two waveforms even data and odd data and based on those two waveforms the phase at which the waveform of qpsk is to be drawn is determined um, so as you can see at the table this is even data and this is odd data when even data is 1 and odd data is 1 the waveform at the uh, phase at which the waveform will start is pi by 4 and similarly when it is 0 1 it will be it will start at 3 pi by 4 when it is 0 0 it will start at 5 pi by 4 and when it is 1 0 it will start at 7 pi by 4 so now here um, this is a simple wave uh, wave where the this is 0 degree this is pi by 4 from where the wave will start this is pi by 2 this is 3 pi by 4 this is 5 pi by 4 this is 3 pi by 2 and this is 7 pi by 4 and here again the waveform repeats it so based on this data we have to draw our qps wave so here i have drawn the qps waveform this is our even data and odd data so here as you can see our even data is 1 and odd data is 0 so when it is 1 0 the phase at which the ang uh, waveform will start is 7 pi by 4 so here you can see i have drawn qpsk waveform at 7 pi by 4 similarly our even data and odd data they are same up to this this point so the there will be no change in phase and the waveform will start from 7 pi by 4 and this i have drawn accordingly and here now the change happens when even data is 1 and odd data is also 1 so for 1 1 you can see the phase at which the angle will uh, the uh, waveform will start is pi by 4 hence the there is a phase shift from 7 pi by 4 to pi by 4 here you can, as you can see and from this we continue to draw the waveform but again there is a phase there is change in our bit uh, even data is 0 and odd data is 1 when this is the case you can see uh, the phase here is 3 pi by 4 and hence the wave again changes its phase and starts from 3 pi by 4 so this as you can see there is a phase shift similarly the last bit that is 0 0 that is even data is 0 and odd data is 0 and when this is the case you can see the phase starts from 5 pi by 4 and hence this is the case you can see the phase shift and it, it has transferred it has transformed from 3 by 4 to 5 by 4 and further on the qps k waveform repeats it okay so moving on to the next part uh, here the we must observe the waveforms that is qps k waveform with respect to its frequency domain so uh, in, in this case we have applied a qps k waveform and a sinusoidal wave to compare and then uh, to, to see the phase difference, we change the mode to x, y mode. Okay, so as you can observe, this is this is basically a combination of two ellipses, oriented like this and like this, and each angle corresponds a phase, 45 degrees. 135 degree, 225 degree and 325 degree respectively. So moving on, now we will observe the FFT of a QPSK signal. So from here I have selected math mode and FFT. The window will be hanging. So 
एंड देन अब जो ओके सो हेयर एज यू कैन सी देर इज वन पीक now we'll measure the bandwidth bandwidth should be observed at these points okay so now i have adjusted these two cursors at the respective frequencies this is the main law of frequency spectrum and here as you can see the difference is displayed here which is nothing but the bandwidth which is 2 kilohertz which is very much in accordance with our signal frequency which was 2 kilohertz so this is the main advantage of qksk over bpsk that the bandwidth is reduced to its half of its original thank you